the gill and we have two sporting rollers here on the tire and you can see a plus device which is which is moving and rollers are so rotating you can see here this is this is the plus device that you're focusing on yeah this one is plus device and these two are the bearings of this one and that one are the bearings of these rollers And this is now you see the gut gear. When the kiln is rotating with it, okay, and you can see a shoe on it basically. So it's gut gear, it is moving the kiln. You can see here. Here is more clear view of the kiln and this is the drive motor on that side, big motor with a blender gear installed and this one you see here is auxiliary drive or barring device which is used to you know uh, rotate the kiln when the power is off or in shutdown for maintenance and this is a shaft rotating which is driving the gut gear the kiln moving in the clockwise direction here you see the center rollers for the kiln on the tire and these are the big rollers than other two sports the reason is that these rollers are big because the weight of the kiln is acting in the middle so there will be a lot of load in the center so we are using the big roller here and you see the whole kiln there this tire you see the other one here the other tire and here you see the whole kiln right now I'm going to see I'm going to make you see that one you know here you see the gut here and the pre-headed area so Kiln has specifications like it's 80 meter length and its angle is 4% of the length. So this is its inclination basically. And it has between six heating zones and three tires. And here you see the these things. You see these are fans which are used for cooling them outside layer of the shell this kiln shell is a cooling fan and this one right there is the bearing two box this is basically bush bearing right here and you see the thrust device is also there Standard. This thrust device is rotating. What is the purpose of thrust device? Thrust device basically stops the floating. It don't allow the kiln to move along its axis, and the rollers are for radial support. They not only help in rotation, but they are basically friction principle is involved here. weight balancing and it's uh, you know for its structure to make it less denser and make it uh, its weight a little more low